on a trip. Back at my brother's North of Seven. We got a couple things to do today. A couple things to do, and the boys already brought the X3 back here for me. I've got the bike in the back of the truck. Phil's joining me, and he's gonna give me a hand. We're gonna go down and get the X3. My buddy's place down the road. We're gonna finally get around to uh, putting the RHJ arms on the uh, Renegade. Throw a fresh belt on the Maverick because it's out about a thousand kilometers and probably do, so peace of mind, right? But yeah, we'll get back here to the shop. First we'll go over to Ian's and we'll pick up the X3. And we'll be right back. All right, cheers. 30 inch intimidators. But they're 10 by 14. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, there she is, boys. We'll let that thing warm up for a few minutes. Sitting there for a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. That looks good. Yeah, it does actually. Oh, where's old Angus? There she is with the Inner Force Inner Co or Inner Co Inner Force twos. Yeah, right on. They actually look good on there, Phil. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Same size as stock tire, so shouldn't yeah. rob anything from the machine, really. Really adding minimal weight. Nothing too major. <laughs> oh, she's cold. And we got ice on her. Cold start. Here we go. Built. Looks like we got lots of room to get in there. Oh yeah, this should be easier than the Renegade, boys. Oh, yeah. And because it's the front of the cover coming off, we only have to take off this boot. Yep. Don't have to touch anything else, so this should be a breeze. Just picked up this little flexible clamp, boys. Playing with that. Should be warmed up enough. Here we go. Let's go get this belt change on the go. We'll see how these intercoats feel actually. I don't know if that's gonna be safe to leave there. It might be. We'll give her a try. Kind of curious to see how that mount works out. Oh, she's cold. Where are we at? Seat belt. Yes we can. We will. Frozen solid. I might add. There we go. High ski. First impressions. The Interco Interforce 2. See how that camera's going to hold up. Hopefully, she don't get destroyed.
So yeah, first impression, she's a little vibrate uh, as you're coming up to a halt, but uh, they smoothen out just like they did on the Renegade at speeds, but yeah, they're, they're dancing, but geez, they really suit this machine a lot better. Absolutely, they suit the machine a lot better. I like it. It spins them violently enough, without a doubt. We'll open that up. Oh, we're gonna get Troy's bike out of here. Right. Um. Yeah, you wanna fire that one up? I'll back out of your way, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that works really well, that clamp. I'm impressed. I like that. Not too bad, not too bad. same procedure on every machine you ever see really rotator out just like that clutches actually look pretty good on this machine boys surprisingly uh, after a thousand K she's still sealed up nicely and uh, just a surprising one okay. which you would expect on a machine like this after a thousand K it is actually really good, and that's likely, well, again, you have got a good seal on there. Yeah. It probably has never really been contaminated by much more than some snow dust that kind of disintegrates as she gets in there with the heat, so decent, yeah. That easy, we'll just give the sheaves a little wipe down, as you probably should always do, boys, I recommend anyways. Right in. Nice 
own gasket. God. Crank is always uh, always finishing by hand for sure, boys. We'll put this tool away. Yes, sir. I don't mind changing a belt on one of these machines at all. That is just as good as it gets for Can Am right there. Boom. All right, she's time to unload the Renegade and uh, get ready to start doing some work to it. So. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll have to bear with me here. Start to try to get some of this set up. Um, where do I put you guys? I have to put you up on the roof, really, I guess. Hair is getting soft already. Alright, we'll get working on this. We should let it run. Would be wise. Would be wise. The old fire up. She's cold. Come to life, darling. Well, we just about got the X3 all thawed out, so it's time to thaw out the Renegade. And she looks like she could use it. All right. Go like this. Like this. Like this. minutes and we'll start yanking the a-arms off it uh, get the new one situated and yeah right on I wonder if my brother has a mop got a lot of water off the uh That's it. 
Not too bad. Pretty easy going. We didn't really struggle with anything. Everything came apart nicely. It's uh, one of the benefits of working on a bike that isn't more than uh, a couple years old, that's for sure. But uh, easy peasy, man. Me and Phil had that thing ripped apart in no time. But, uh, Ian's gone to get his ball joint press. We'll get those new arms equipped and uh, we'll get back to you, boys, right now. She's looking fair, bud. She's down, and those tires look perfectly aligned. Oh yeah. Yeah, they look great. They look great. Straight as an arrow, right on. As advertised. That's pretty kick-ass. Very tight fit, but that's probably good. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Sweet. Really not bad. A little bit, a little bit. Look at the clearance we get. That's great. On the arms, that is awesome. The others come straight on it, right? So you're looking at a nice gap there, that's great. Good, buddy. Look at the lineup, boy. That's beautiful. ATV colors right there. What a beast. The brand new yellow. He's stuck on this thing. He wants one of those now. He just jumped the bumps. Don't worry about it. The two wheel machine right there. I think he's gonna take a picture of the price. <laughs> <laughs> he's gotta convince the wife to let him pull the trigger on one of these units. Sea Dew Spark. Yeah, that looks like a lot of fun. Right on. Yeah, the boys brought lots of toys here. Check out the boats. Killer setup. Killer. Oh yeah. It's just the tricks kit you have to buy. You get the, the base. The base one of these for sixty four hundred bucks. I think Dallas said they were only seventy something. Yeah, he said to me they're rather affordable. I'm like, oh, well, this is rather affordable town. Cool, they're not bad at all. I don't think they are. Well, realistically, if you can get one for seven grand, yeah. Well, compared to like that one over there, twenty grand right there. Wow, look at that, eh? Yeah, you can have two of these loaded for the same price. Super sure. That thing's the size of a boat. It's just huge, Take the whole family on her, eh? Well, some of us. 